Oh, yeah, so funky. Welcome to episode one of Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. This was requested by a viewer, and it looked interesting. So I'm checking it out, going in totally blind, because I need to keep my title of Fearless. I laugh at myself when I go back and look at those, so. Just a disclaimer, just in case YouTube decides to age restrict me again. This could contain jump scares or shocking content or yada yada yada. Please, viewer discussion is advised. Only watch at your own volition. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Hello, Jen. Thank you. You need the fox on Sea of Thieves? I know, it's pretty cute, huh? There's a black one, I thought it was pretty cool. So as you can see here, jump scares are on, right? Cause I need to get startled, right? I know nothing about this game, just black. Now there's five different types. I've been researching but. the paranormal for years. And over that time, I've established myself as a level-headed investigator. In the beginning, I sought out a lot of my investigations trying to help families this voice acting is kind of poor process. as time passed Which one I am I gonna get start hmm. accepting payment for my services Eventually, I'm not sure I'll have to see him enough cash to justify renting an office I hope having a more I fixed my mic and see thieves by the way give me opportunities to investigate places that I wouldn't have been able to previously I'm curious if I've gotten any new emails I should, I should check, check my, my PC. PC okay so this sensitivity is insane already, so let's go ahead and crank the crap out of that down. Yeah, I got a high DPI mouse, so... Oh, goodness. When you approach an object that you can interact with, the it just fades out. It fades out to gray. That's interesting. To interact with an object, you must line the crosshair up with it and then press the interact button. Okay. World navigation. Great. Into the back rooms, you think? Okay, so this seems important. CSPPI. <laughs> we have a history of success and professionalism that is unparalleled in our field. After years of watching ghost hunting shows on various networks and participating, we do with yada yada yada. In order for paranormal investigators to determine if a location is truly haunted, they often start by spending a significant amount of time researching the case. Learning about what might have happened at the location is key to making corroborations on any potential evidence found later on. Most investigators feel several overnight visits are required to determine the type of paranormal activity present. So it's not like a one and done thing, is what I'm understanding. Establishing multiple data points over numerous nights allows them to ask yada 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 yada. Hours of post investigation work are required for every hour spent on vacation. On location, vacation, yeah. When we arrive on site, our first goal is to use our passive tools. These help us gain an understanding of property and allow our investigators to zero in on a ghost maybe haunting within the site. Our active tools will then be used to collect any indisputable evidence like slime or ghost goo. The investigation will conclude after we obtain suitable evidence. We will then provide our clients with a report of our findings. Ooh. Okay, so flashlight is one. Temperature sensor. Equip and unequip is five. EMF is four. Hello, Bribbons. Welcome back. How are you? Audio recorder camera. Oh. All right. Well. Looks like this game runs fantastic. Notes. Press interact button to exit. Okay, email. Before Conrad can visit a location, he must be first invited there. You'll need to check your email regularly. York's man, he can't hold me. Well, damn it, Jen. Get on the phone. All right, so this is like uh, Tammy Wentz and Evergreen. Dear Conrad, my family... Whoa, whoa, what is this? Why is there... Why is a mouse going? 
All right, we're going in. Family and I moved into our dream home on Evergreen Lane about a year ago. It's an old farmhouse without the rest of the farm property. The home has been renovated many times over the years, so it has a fresh and inviting feel. Unfortunately, however, my husband and I are convinced that the home is haunted. Odd sounds like footsteps. Husband would tell me I was just hearing things until he had an experience himself. He was in the garage a few months back and swears to have seen a man of average build suddenly appear. Uh, at first he thought someone had broken in, but then he made eye contact. Choking sound. So it was one of those... <laughs> Recently we've started catching glimpses of a shadow moving out of the corner. da 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 the significant other never believes, and it's always a source of contention in the relationship. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Skipping child. So this is, uh... Oh, that's cool. So this is where I record this audio. Okay. Crouch, hustle. I oh, should I... grab my equipment in the back. The voice acting could use some work. What? If I press if I press interact with this door, it just pauses my game. Oh no, interact without interacting pauses? That's a little uh I don't know how I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. I need to look at the map on the wall to get an idea of where I'm going to be investigating. This guy He's not giving me Ghost Hunter vibes. I'm going to be honest. I need my equipment to investigate. What? Oh, this equipment? Okay. Toggle the flashlight on and off. Cool. Equip camera. Take photo. Toggle night vision. Audio recorder. Record audio. I feel like I'm watching a work training. I mean, it does really feel very Walmart, doesn't it? Blah, blah, blah. I already got most of this, so. Okay. Change units? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Where did she say it was? Oh, Evergreen Lane right here. Oops. Come on now. Do you want to investigate this location? Uh, not just yet. Let me... New Edel on? That's so weird. I'm pressing the interact button. I cannot exit the map. I guess we're going in. Got the game? Hell yeah, I did. Sounded good. The, uh... He isn't worried about their safety. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal, I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Uh, here is a script, sir. Please don't read it like you're reading a script. Wish it was multiplayer. Hmm, that'd be nice. Now, now I hear my computer. Generally done in the dark. Are you telling me that somebody would say ghost hunting is generally done in the dark like that? Walking into what's a haunted house? As if. I don't know if this uh, flashlight runs out of batteries. I did not read it too much. The voices need reworking. Oh, yeah, they do. How are you going to install a sink faucet on your bathtub and say that's okay? Who designed this place and why is that shampoo bottle so flat? Maybe I'm just jealous. 
I get pissed when I like you get in there. Do it. <laughs> right. Ghost hunting's done in the dark. Okay, we'll do it in the dark, guy. What do you need me for? I need to turn some settings down just a teensy bit. Let's crank up the frame rate, but also turn down these. Nope, we gotta go back. There we go. Ah, that's better. Ghost hunting is generally done in the dark. All right, Conrad. First things first, though. I'm kind of digging it already, I'm not going to lie. All right, we got some creaking noises. I'm just going to go ahead and judge these people's houses first. This is uh, the American dream right here, though, to have a nice house. The uh, holy crap, the shadows on here are very harsh. Very, very harsh. I hear the creaking. You always jump. Oh yeah, I did turn jump scares on. They were off by default, as if they didn't know who I was. Like, do you understand that I am the fearless? I just don't know how loud they are. If they're too loud, I don't. I don't mind jump scares, but there's a tough balance between way overdoing it and it being fun. All right. Need milk. Reminder, feed the dog. To do. Aircraft bill of sale. What? This these people are buying airplanes? What the F? All right. Well, here we go. Not oh, going to be really freaking dark. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Who designed that? Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought this was a good idea? Cereal with only milk? I eat my cereal with Dr. Pepper. That's what I put in there. I mean, come on. What is this? Whose house is this? Oh, goodness. Think there's any ghosts out here? Hello? Is anybody mowing my lawn? I want to do that. Your uncle eats it with water. Okay. Um, I'm going to call the police. That's messed up. Nice cars, though. I think. Not a car guy, but... There's an oven out here, too. Kind of makes you really feel like this is a sur your average suburban family that uh, buys aircraft... And then hangs up the receipt on the fridge. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, we got an investigating progress bar. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Looks like just a cold spot. Spare oven. I love that con. I love the concept of that, though. The idea of a spare oven tickles me. Honey, our oven broke. Where's the spare? It's in the garage. Oops. Oh, that's outside light. Oh, epic. <laughs> Next to the aircraft. Where's the spare oven, honey? Oh, next to the aircraft carrier? I 
Ah, that's what I'm saying. This this house is very poorly designed. Uh, who has a living room up top here? Oh, nice Xbox though. Got an Xbox King. Oh yeah, I can scroll. Love that. I'm hearing something now. Hello? Do you? I hear something. Alright. That is kind of creepy, isn't it? So we can't get EMF reading when there's light. Conrad Stevenson, Paranormal PI. The staircases are haunted. It, appear, it appears that the ghost has chosen a house that it doesn't seem to want to live in. Also, the family put their smaller TV in the what looks like primary living room. And the 70 incher is upstairs. A ghost adventure game? What would that look like, I wonder? I'm only getting up to EMF 3 here. This would be pretty good if it was multiplayer. Okay, that kind of worries me. is a ghost haunting that would actually be kind of fun wouldn't it you'd have like a scare meter like in uh what's that movie monsters incorporated whatever i'll just leave that open uh can i i don't use this to just straight up leave do i i want to take a listen to oh there we go the types of ghosts as identified by those who authored this book Oh. Residual ghosts are common spirits who act out the same event over and over, are unaware of their surroundings. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Most haunted location seems to be inhabited by these guys. Phasma should have a match. That would be cool. Have you guys ever seen or heard of the game Escape the Ayuoki? Because that is a 4v... I wouldn't say like a horror game, but you can play as your favorite horror monsters like Slenderman or Michael Jackson. Intelligent ghosts have the capacity to communicate and interact with the living. They usually fall into one of two categories. People who have passed away and are now spirits who mysteriously linger. The second consists of shadow people. Most paranormal investigators believe that entities left their lives unfulfilled. Oh, that would be me, wouldn't it? Got him. Poltergeist. The name poltergeist comes from the German language and means noisy spirit. Research shows that poltergeist activity starts quietly and gradually increases until the homeowner finds it unbearable. Hmm. All right. And demonic. Oh, good lord. Okay, so... So how do I... Oh, it's a beautiful 72 out here. Have you heard of Ghost Hunter's Core? I believe that that is one of the games that I run with my friends sometimes. 
I know that they changed their name to something. I don't remember what it was. There's some sort of creaking going on here. I, that much I can hear. Is it in the wall? Oh, maybe it's over here. Is it in the closet? No? Okay, so we do have it. That's what I thought. I thought I'd heard of it. Am I the one creaking? Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. How rude. How rude of me. Okay, it seems like there is a huge swath of house that I can't even access, maybe? Oh, no, wait. Yeah, what is be between the kitchen and the bathroom? What's in all that space over there? I believe you. You totally could be. This only gives you phasmophobia vibes because you're an EMF hoarder. Uh-oh. There's a lot of activity by this computer. Wonder what it is. Hmm. Alright, the ghost is a nerd. Damn it, now I'm gonna have to give him a wedgie. Oh, there's a freaking it's EMF and on the damn science book. Well, what do you know? Alright, somebody write this down. Ghost plays Counter Strike and studies physics. Conclusion giant fucking nerd. Got him. And Phasma, you'd sit in the van. Ah, the truck bitch. We always have one of those. I didn't even know there was a basement. Oh, man, if I were a ghost, I'd totally be down here. Oh, cool. Spooky ghost. We enjoy truck pitches. We do love them. They are crucial. They're the ones that can say, The ghost is hunting. Basement door locked. Possibly by ghost. Locked basement door noted. This game is the RTX 3080. Oh. Oh. Looks like this is a normal EMF reading. Okay. So I kind of see what is going on here, so... I'm supposed to, so we had the bar up there for the temperature, we had the bar down here for the EMF, so I'm assuming, that we need to do that with everything, maybe? But if I have to choose to hit the record button on this. I don't know why you'd ever turn off the hustle, boy. Every day I'm hustling. This is the side door. What do you uh, got going on in your backyard? Do you pave your entire backyard? What the? 
Is that for the aircraft carrier? Oh no, this is the front yard. Okay, there is lawn. There's a, oh, I'm sorry, your typical suburban rock wall in the backyard, my bad. There we go, we do have a, oh yeah, that's right, we can get night vision. Hmm. Anything going on in here? Something spooky gonna happen? Okay, so I've got normal EMF reading, non sussy baka temperature. I think that at this point I should just go back and study. But how do I do that? Do I go to the menu? I also see that. Sure you want to quit the menu? Yes. Did I goof up? I hope I didn't goof up. Uh oh, I goofed up. That's okay. That's okay. Because we know where we're going now. We gotta go into the walk-in closet for this one. Just a cold room. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. <laughs> okay, so it is consistent between sessions. While this is a high EMF level, it seems to be normal. Although they may want to call an electrician to ensure everything is wired correctly. Come on, man. There's just no way. There's no freaking way that you would be that calm. What, uh, at this point, where? What am I doing? Maybe we just get a look at everything in night vision. Is that just this? Something just kicked on and is uh, rumbling and grumbling. But it's only in the basement. Come on with these doors! Oh man, it's cold down here. Yeah, just another EMF reading. All right, I'm gonna. I gotta go into the how to play this. Okay. The passive tools are the flashlight, temperature sensor, and EMF readers. Active tools. So this is where I'm at, is the active tools. A common digital recorder, unlike the industry standard, we do not leave this device on all night. Our investigators will turn on the recorder for five second intervals. Some ghostly sounds, such as distant bells or chimes, may not be captured, but are obviously signs of paranormal. Investigators may be, choose to perform an electric voice phenomenon session. In these sessions, ah, I have to hit E. They can ask the spirit specific questions while leaving the recorder on momentarily. They will then immediately play the audio back, determining if a disembodied voice was captured. Got it. Okay. In HD, this ensures we're able to capture the most subtle materializations. Investigators are encouraged to take as many photos as needed, but will only update their notes when a photo of something has been captured. Okay, so I've just been uh, holding the audio book out, so I just got to do... One of these. Oh, I don't get to say it. 
Is this your home? Is this your home? Maybe I should turn this off first. Yo. Can you tell me your name? Something's flying around here and wants to die. Can you tell me your name? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to This say? isn't uh going super productive. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Try a different area? Oh yeah, you're probably right. They did say that this was just a normal a level of EMF, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me move, let me close this door all the way just to navigate. Yeah, I'm afraid of the dark. I should turn this light off. Oh my god. Dude. Stop being cringe, man. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Do you know why I'm here? So will we hear it on the first go? Like, would this be the only time we'd hear it? Is this your home? This guy reading us. Yeah, I'm in. Is this your home? Please don't kill me. Is this your home? Is this your card? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? I can hit the inflection every time. <laughs> My guy's got balls of steel. Like I mean, family living here? what can I say? Fake it till you make it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the groaning. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We forgot our man played Counter Strike. He's got to be in here. Let's just double check. If it's consistent through sessions. Yeah, there we go. Should be in here. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? How many people are here? Other than me. Why? Why the hesitation? How many people are here other than me? It's like you forgot. <laughs> yeah, that was good. The first take was good. We don't need to record that again. That's fine. Do you know why I'm here? Do you, do you know why I'm here? I love it. It's charming. It's charming in a way. Why I'm here? You know? I thought I just heard something. Damn it, you might be right. It is me doing the creaking.
Is this your home? Is this your home? Oh, am I supposed to listen really carefully to this? Can you tell me your name? We're not going to be able to hear it on the, on the first go, are we? Can you tell me your name? What's this ghost going to say? He's going to say he's just vacationing here. He's uh, hanging out on the aircraft carrier. Do you like the current family living here? No, I hate them. Do you like the current family living here? So it would only... Okay, so what I'm understanding is that it would only play if it picked up anything. All right, I got nothing for audio data. I also see this paper. Like, what am I supposed to do on this? Oh. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Damn. All right, we're going around with the temperature, temp, temp, te, the, uh, the cold detecting gun till we find something that isn't just a cold spot. God, my key, my keyboard is so loud. Are you guys able to hear me slamming on those? I just realized I could freaking hear it. It's like a door to either the bathroom or the stairs. We got one in the bedroom. Keep flying around. Keep flying around. Do you understand the tools I have to get rid of something like you, you stupid fly? Mosquito, gnat, whatever it is you are. Fruit fly. Okay, we already got the cold drop here. It's pretty cold over here. Maybe the ghost is just laying in bed. Hmm, the vacuum cleaner is not very EMF. Oh, it matters where you look. Okay. Okay, that's good info. That is good info. We like that info. Okay, that creaking is definitely me. Looks like just a stove. Nothing paranormal. All right, well, let's ask us some questions here. Is this your home? Is this your home? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? The, the la I mean, if this is supposed to be the tutorial, the lack of direction here is kind of, now I'm getting a little frustrated because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. We go down to the basement, that's our highest EMF. They did also say it would take multiple nights, but I don't know how to wrap up a night. Yeah, that's pretty strong in here. Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Go to the truck and click on it. It didn't give me a prompt, but I can just go hammer shit. Might as well. I'm just kind of desperate now. 
We can help. Call 555-489-14, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I should give it a little effort before wrapping up. I'm supposed to go in through the back? Why? Why am I going in through the back? What the fuck? Why am I going? And I just don't even question it either. This isn't even my garage, is it? I'm just in somebody else's garage. Whose garage is this? Is this even haunted? Why does this garage have two stall doors? Oh, what? I have never seen that before. Is this a thing that happens? I have never seen a two stall garage before. That's fascinating. Door locked. Okay, I, I don't even know if this is our people's garage now. It's so close to the house, but... I should give it a little effort before I wrap things up. Boy, I'm doing the best I can here. Do you understand? I ain't seen nothing about nothing. I guess I'm just looking through the camera now. Before I go hop into the trunk of the truck. For whatever reason. We hop into the back of the truck. I, I am at a loss. I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm not getting anything. Oh. Gamer. We got a gamer here, guys. Cringe gamer. All right. The old adage goes to crack in nineties on people. I don't even know what that means, and I agree with you. I'm just EMF and everything now. I'm just MF, EMF, and everything. It's just like a point and click adventure. You just gotta try everything with everything. How many people are here other, other than, than me? me? Sound like he wasn't even done saying something. Other than me. How many people are here other than me? Hmm. And there, I'm just trying to make this suspenseful. He's trying, but uh, he's just making it silly. All right, so. Clearly the EMF is picking up electrical signals. I have to give it some effort before I wrap it up. I assume that that means we're only using our passive tools. Like so. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Okay, does that mean that I can leave now via the trunk? Let's see. D is this enough inf is it, Mr. Conrad, is this enough effort for you? Perhaps I should try and get some evidence before I wrap up. I really need to get some sleep. What evidence can I get?
I don't. Ah, uh, no. Nah, let's let's just wrap it up. Maybe I can understand something better. So I gotta hold it. I'll have to get back in touch with the property owners to reschedule. No abnormal EMF. No abnormal temperature. No audio evidence. There's a damn gnat flying around here. No photographic evidence. <laughs> All right. Unable to find paranormal. It is inconclusive if this location is haunted. This means the investigator did not find any form of evidence and did not thoroughly investigate areas because if there are further concerns, return to the residence for follow-up. Okay. Not bad. I mean, I can just always go back, right? There we already saw that, so... Odd sounds like footsteps coming from upstairs. It gets better past the tutorial. I sure hope so, because this is just, uh, I don't even know what's going on. But I'm going to read this thoroughly, right? So, this has obviously got to coincide. I, I should have done my due diligence and actually read this the first time. The demons are fun. Oh, God. I began hearing odd sounds like footsteps coming from upstairs while I was home alone on the main floor. Husband would tell me I was just hearing things. He was in the garage and swears to have seen a man of average build appear. So then he did a choking noise. Recently we've started catching glimpses of a shadow moving out of the corner of our eyes. Once, immediately after seeing, I heard a sinister disembodied voice. Our youngest children, who share a room say that they have an imaginary friend who's a child. Initially, we thought this was just imaginative, as as we are experiencing these, I'm fearful they're all connected. We also experience kitchen items being thrown about. Sometimes we simply hear a ruckus, but other times there really is a mess to be cleaned up. On one occasion, a jam jar mysteriously shattered on the floor. The mess vanished. It doesn't seem like we are in an danger. Could you please help us? Okay, so. Why, why am I able to click on just specific parts of this? What's up with that? Alright. Four things to note. Stand on the main floor and listen for footsteps. In the garage, somebody should suddenly appear. Keep an eye out for shadows moving out of the corners of your eyes. That one I think will just come naturally. And then in the kitchen, there should be stuff being thrown about. So we'll keep that in mind. A set amount of archival information will be available once Conrad receives an email. You will learn more about locations by picking, picking up items. Was I supposed to be grabbing things? It's advisable to review all collected material. While reviewing the archives, you'll be able to hover over the text with your mouse and add clues to your... Oh. Oh, okay. All right, I see it. So these, this means you click and add it to the notes. Got it. Man appeared in garage, ghost of young child, shadow, disembodied voice, footsteps upstairs. Kitchen items thrown. All right, now it's making... I should have just read it the first time. I'm so... I, I apologize to myself in the past. I was just trying to make things more entertaining by not wasting time reading. But... Ghost of young child... Mess vanished. Okay. Keep flying around here, buddy. I will literally destroy you. Hmm. This is the blandest office I've ever seen. Oh, okay, we already, we already... Okay. 
Let's try this again with this new information in hand. Evergreen LM. It seems like the Wentz family isn't worried about their safety. Although it does seem like they're pretty startled when experiencing something they think is paranormal. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. So maybe... Okay, I see it the notes here. Hello, welcome back. I uh, did more due diligence. I was able to put notes on the notepad. So kitchen items thrown around. That's the first thing. Right now, it's the EMF is just picking up electrical stuff. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? So he said the lights are acting funny. Okay. Kitchen items thrown. I don't know, it seems like it's too tight of a spot. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Nothing paranormal here. But these lights are acting funny. That's outside. Where's the kitchen? There it is. Let's head down to the basement. It has to be such a specific spot. It's a little too tight. While this is a high EMF level, it seems to be normal. Although they may want to call an electrician to ensure everything is wired correctly. So, Mr. Conrad specifically stated that the lights in here are acting funny. Why are you here? Why are you here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Shadow disembodied voice, footsteps upstairs. Probably time to investigate man appeared in garage, don't you think? The only question is, is how loud the jump scare is going to be, because I don't like it when they're loud. I like to protect my widow eels. Very dark. Oh, do I need to turn the... Maybe I got to turn the flashlight off. Very dark. Very spooky. Not seeing anything up here in here. Turn around and give it one more go. I'm not seeing anything. It just goes back outside. Oh, look at that! EMF, I've detected some unusual activity. Ah, okay. That was in the kitchen. Oh. Looks 
like just a cold spot, nothing paranormal. So we're looking for obviously severe temperature drops, but really that could be anywhere. I don't want to have to, I don't want this to have to be like stand on this specific kitchen tile. Oh, just lighting issues. Difficulty chooser. Uh, yeah. I mean, especially if you just start, this is, this net is seriously pissing me off. I'm about to freaking do some mosquito boxing. Nothing paranormal. So there should be at least one temperature thing in here, right? All right. All right. Yeah, that's good. Should not behave this way. This is paranormal. And it vanished. Okay. There we go. Now we got. Now we got stuff going on here. Absolutely detected paranormal activity. Okay, so it's not too loud. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with someone? So, just takes a little time, is all. Do you play observation duty? No, I don't. I've never heard of it. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? So how many of these do I have to try, I wonder? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? I don't believe that this guy would hear a crash like that, watch a plate disappear, and say, this is absolutely paranormal. There's definitely paranormal activity here? here. Other than me. How many people are here other than me? I <laughs> love it. How many people are here It's so funny. Is this your home? Is this your home? I can't tell if what I'm hearing is like in my apartment or in the game. 68.7 The temperature is very stagnant now. There's no fluctuation whatsoever. Maybe I should go upstairs. We should go check on the gamer. Man, I'm not getting jack diddly here. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? So the note said that there is a shadow like with a disembodied voice hearing footsteps upstairs and the kids were saying they have an imaginary friend. So maybe we should run through the whole list in here. See if that helps. We even shut ourselves in. Is there anyone here who would run like to through speak the whole you? thing here? See if we get anything. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Anything you'd like to tell me?
Do you know why I'm here? So far, I've had the best luck. Gotta go be back 15. All right, man. Do you know why I'm here? Life comes first. I'll always be here. Always. How many people are here? Oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it Me. to 15 minutes longer, to be honest with you. I might have to do some research on this game. How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? Just gotta eat. Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? While I do like the whole why are you here anticipation leading up to the recorder thing 10 seconds per this is like why are you here a minute and a half i'm sitting here just clicking and waiting can you tell me your name this does have a lot of potential yeah and it does definitely need some polish The gameplay loop on this is kind of, I don't know, frustrating a little. Not too much feedback here. And he's just going to say cold spot. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Yeah. So I just have to find a paranormal temperature? Is that what I'm understanding? Because now it's very stagnant at 69.1. Even over here, when we had one last time, is not the same. Oh. We were getting something. We were getting something. It really wanted to do investigating. What was happening? It wanted it it wanted to do something. It was at like sixty four for a second. So the temperatures are not static. They are dynamic. With that in mind, we should run around. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. Now that's paranormal. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Damn that. All right, temp gun. Here we go. Why do you always gotta play scary games? That's that's what the people want, man. People want to see me be fearless. I'm so brave. Just goes down to a cold spot. <laughs> Not you. Well, I'm sorry, Chris. I don't live my life by what you want. I'm here for the people. I'm here for the people. What, a multiplayer game? Do you understand that I'm, like, really good at multiplayer games, though? Like, Gears of War? No lies. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. And I want, I hope that Gears 6 comes with Guardian like Gears 5 did and Gears 4. The way the studio was uh, 
handled is kind of disheartening for Gears 5, but Gears 4 was hella fun. And I still like Gears 5, don't get me wrong. That horde mode was like wicked good. Horde was crazy good. Temperature is dropping significantly here, but not even enough to a cold spot level. Hmm. So we had a cold spot here. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Goodbye, and you don't watch horror games? Okay, get out of here, coward. Thanks for stopping in, by the way. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> you are a coward. You're brave in your own way. Do you know why I'm here? You know what they say. You know, you don't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. I think that... Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Okay, those were definitely footsteps. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Okay, so... What I'm understanding is, you know, the game is lengthy. It's just lengthy. So I've collected everything I can now at this point. Okay, all right, I'm understanding now, I'm understanding. The MF leader located several field spikes. Since other evidence was collected, it reinforces the theory. Ghosts absorb EMFs. Cold spots detected during investigation were identified as paranormal. Since other evidence was found, it reinforces the theory that ghosts absorb thermal energy to interact with the environment. The investigator's opinion is that something paranormal is going on. We'll need to spend more time on this case. Okay, so... You're not... So... Uh, what I'm understanding from this game is it's not necessarily like Phasmophobia, where... You have your tools and you go and you hunt in specific areas with said tools to find that said specific evidence. Whereas here, you are around, you're just hanging around, and when something happens, you take that tool and record it. If that makes sense. So while, while it's a good game, it's lengthy. I mean, it's taken what? an hour and ten minutes for just two things to happen. And my notes reset each time, so. Choking sounds. Get rid of choking sounds. Because we saw that, and we also saw Mess Vanished. Now we'll keep choking sounds. So, I would assume that uh, each of these is a different ghost of some some type. Like this would be the tutorial, but 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 different areas here. Okay. Okay, I understand. Uh... I might have to do a little bit more research. Obviously, I don't want to spoil anything for me, but... 
I think I kind of understand, and I think I'm going to have to probably wrap it up tonight because I do have something else I need to do. But um, I appreciate you all coming by. I My buddy Mike has told me about a game called Zoom Beanies. I don't know what it is, some sort of old-ass game for kids back in the day. Um, I want to play through that. So probably next time I'll run that and see what happens. But um, I'll absolutely come back to this after I do more research. But, um, you know, until then, still appreciate you. Thank you for stopping in. See these socials here. Follow them. Twitter for updates. Uh, I'm not used to the green screen thing. Twitter for updates. YouTube for VODs. Twitch for life.